I'm Father John Ganey of the Paulist Fathers, and you're watching Psalm Sense. Storms are a very terrible thing, particularly when they're taking place in your life. As I watch television on so many evenings, it seems to me over this past spring, I've been very glad that I live in New England because we don't seem to be having any of these kind of storms. But the storms we have been seeing over these many months are deeply rooted in the, it seems to me, the midsection of the United States. And there are a few things that I think are as frightening as tornadoes. I mean, just all of a sudden, there they are. They whip through a part of the country with these terrible winds and carve up so many people's lives and all the cities that they go through. It's a very frightening phenomenon for whomever is enduring it. And you may wonder to yourself, well, is this what God intended? I'm not saying that God ever intends any of these things, but they happen even though God has given us a wonderful creation. For example, if you were to read Psalm 67, you would hear these words. O oh God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your salvation. And you're probably thinking to yourself, are you saying that tornadoes are supposed to remind us of God? Well, yeah, I think so. We had one tornado when I was a pastor in Memphis that I remember. I'm sure there were many more. But I went out to see the results of that tornado and was just amazed to see how much the land around this one section was torn up. It was about an 18 foot barrier that went all the way through. And on each side, there was no destruction. But right in the middle, there was all kinds of destruction. Let me tell you, it was very frightening to see that. But how then are we reminded of God? It was the day after the storm and we, you are reminded of the power of our God, and also reminded of the great gifts he gives us when he gives us the powerful sun that we see and the lovely moons. All of these things are moments to help us to be better aware of God's presence in our lives. So yes, Tornadoes can remind us of God, and they can also remind us to thank God for the gifts that he gives us in the weather and the gifts that he gives us in being able to deal with these storms as they pass. It's a reminder when we see bad weather of all the difficulties that could be ours if we were never aware of God's presence. So as you look around the wonderful world that we inhabit, give praise to God. And remember that each time we are in destruction, we are also reminded of the great gifts that God gives us. For some sense, I'm Father John Ganey. My time is up. I thank you for your